to welcome very much this resolution um, tabled by the Taoiseach and the Taoiseach. And the Taoiseach said earlier that the Convention would be innovative, independent and influential. I think that on the basis of what we've, what's been set out and the basis of what he said, I think it will be each one of those three things. Certainly the composition that's proposed for the Convention is innovative. There's no question about that. It involves, I think, for the first time uniquely, a direct citizen involvement in a deliberative process, a, de a, a democratic deliberative process in relation to our Constitution, the most important uh, uh, foundation document of our, of our uh, country and of our system. I think that will happen in a public way. There'll be public visibility to what's actually happening in this convention. I think that is innovative. The agenda for the convention is not as broad as some, some would have hoped or some would have advocated, but I think it's important to recall what the Taoiseach said earlier, that there is a, an openness on his part, and I think there should be on all our parts an openness to extending the list of topics to be considered by the convention, and certainly the Taoiseach made that very clear, and actually was prepared also to say that if that meant an extension of the time frame, that that was also uh, something that would and should uh, be considered, and I welcome that. But I think it would be a mistake at Cahirlik like, to make little, as I thought to some extent, some of the earlier speakers, including Deputy Martin, to make little of the topics that have in fact been set down for discussion by this convention. They're not at all without importance or significance. Even the first two which people have been dismissive of, the length of term of the Office of President, is an important issue. I heard many people for months on end last year in the year, around the time of the election and the previous elections for the presidency saying that the term was too long. So why shouldn't that be considered and deliberated upon? The French did it in 2000, reduced it from seven years to five years. Why shouldn't we consider it? Question of voting age to 17, again, is something that should be considered. It should be debated. It will have the opportunity to bring young people into that debate, people who themselves would, have, would, would benefit from such a change. To suggest that a, a, that a change in the Dáil electoral system isn't of absolutely fundamental importance in our system would be bizarre. I can't think of anything that would be more important. I personally believe in radical reform to the Dáil electoral system. But to be dismissive and to say that that isn't at the very heart of the kind of change that's needed, I think is strange. People voting for the president, people outside the state voting the presidency equally. What's the most controversial clause in the Constitution over 30 years, in my memory? The clause is dealing with women and women in the home. That's on the list. Uh, the question of, of same-sex marriage, it's on the list. The question of blasphemy, Deputy Martin said he, has, he goes around the country to Fianna Fáil meetings and, and the issue of blasphemy doesn't float their boat. But Deputy Ahern, his friend over there, only two years ago, was prepared to bring in an absurd piece of legislation rather than addressing this issue, which is a Your constitutional is question. Expired. All of these issues are important and I welcome very much the resolution.